Sitting is the new smoking. You've probably heard that at some point and I personally think it's all bull****, especially since I'm sitting on one of the best chairs on the market. But apparently as humans, it's optimal for us to stand at least four hours a day to stay healthy. Now, I generally spend hours editing, sending emails, and on client calls. So when FlexiSpot reached out and asked if I wanted to try one of their new standing desks, I said, sure, why not? This was right after Sam Newton's video, so yes, I was a little biased. I started off by taking everything off of my old desk and unplugging everything, and then disassembling the desk because there was no way this was gonna make it down the stairs as is. Rumsha was busy with work at the time, so I did this part on my own, but she did help me bring up these massive and super heavy boxes up the stairs. I pulled in the super heavy box containing the desktop into my room and then proceeded to open up the box. Okay, so this is the part of the story that gets weird. So the desktop that I actually ended up getting was cracked from both sides. And you know what? I get it. It's a large, heavy piece of wood. That's what she said. <laughs> and it can definitely get damaged during transportation. I was so happy to make the video, but I was like, hey, you know what? Let me reach out to FlexiSpot and, you know, just let them know that their piece of desk or desktop came cracked. So I emailed them, let them know. They actually emailed me back being like, hey, we're so sorry. You can actually keep that one and we'll send you another one to replace it. To that, I was like, that's pretty incredible. I don't know a lot of companies that would do that. So I was like, yeah, guys, 100%, please send me another one. Um, they did, but that one also ended up being cracked. So obviously just unfortunate. So I was like, hey, I'll email them again. And once again, they were actually down to send me another one and let me keep the old one. And yeah, the third time was the charm. It came perfectly fine. It wasn't cracked. Um, but yeah, honestly, I just want to take this moment out to thank FlexiSpot for like, their customer service and customer experience is actually really dope. I don't know a lot of companies that would have done that for me. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to the video. At initial reveal, the color was absolutely beautiful. I also liked how FlexiSpot had pre-drilled holes everywhere so I knew exactly where to screw in things. I was sort of intimidated initially since I had never built a standing desk before, but the instructions were super simple to understand and I was able to build it really quickly. So if you're thinking of getting one of these desks and you're worried about the assembly portion, don't be. Just make sure you have someone to help you because some of the components are quite heavy. I managed because I'm 6'2 and 180. The wiring was also super simple. I highly recommend you have a drill if you're going to do this. A regular screwdriver will not cut it. It will literally take forever and your wrist is going to fall off. Once I had built the desk out, I did need some help to flip it because the desktop alone weighs around 80 pounds. Now, I was not expecting this, but the desk instantly transformed my space. Forget the standing aspect, but somehow getting a larger desk made the room look bigger. I was not expecting that. I was blown away as to how much more space I had, and now my monitor feels small. I'll definitely need an ultra wide monitor soon to replace this one, and I'll probably need a bigger desk mat also. The motors are super quiet and this is one of the best systems I've seen out there. It's amazingly smooth and I was honestly impressed. Although it's unlikely I'll ever use the standing option because I'm sitting in a $2,000 chair, shout out to Gabriel Ross, it's nice to have to adjust the desk height depending on what position I'm sitting in. Hey, future me again, so I realized I completely forgot to say what desk this was. So this specifically is the E7 Pro from FlexiSpot and I got the red oak color in the solid wood desktop in the 72 by 30 inches configuration with the black legs and yeah, that's the one. So again, back to the video. The real star for me is how many accessories FlexiSpot has. The casters didn't come in time for this video, so I'll install those later, but FlexiSpot hooked it up. Let's start with this cable management rack. First off, it's black. I love that. Secondly, it's not massive. I personally am not a fan of those ones that span the entire length of the desk. This one is discreet and it fits all of my cables decently. The drawer is my favorite accessory. It's not super huge, but it's closer to me than my Alex drawers and I can keep items that I'm constantly reaching for quickly, like my hard drives. I also just toss in my jewelry here when I'm not wearing it. FlexiSpot also sent a power bar which just clamps onto the desk and I have this fed into my main power source. You get three full plugs 
and a USB 3 and a USB C port. This is super convenient if I want to charge my phone or just quickly plug in a light. I don't have to bend down to find an outlet or look around in my set cable system, which I really don't want to disturb. Overall, the desk has made a massive difference in my overall productivity and not because of the standing features. I feel like my workspace just feels more inspiring. I love that I have a real wooden desktop now. The accents are black and it's honestly huge. If you're going to spend on a standing desk, I highly recommend customizing it out just right because you're going to notice a major difference in your setup if you do. I'll leave the link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But that's it for this video. And if you want to see more desk setup related stuff like this, then definitely don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, keep creating.